80% of your body is water. Water is very important. I don't have to tell you that. We live in Arizona. When it gets hot, you need water. Well, the problem is that the water that we're drinking may be contaminated. In fact, let me put that a different way. It is contaminated by drugs that can change your behavior. Antidepressant drugs, uh, drugs that are tranquilizers, perhaps antibiotics, and for that matter, yet other medications as well that we haven't tested for yet. In fact, all of the water supplies that we've tested around the United States and around the world have been shown to be uh, contaminated with these products. And what else has been shown is that the contamination, even though it's tiny amounts, has made a difference to the behavior and the reproductive capability of perch fish, of minnows, and other animals. Even algae plant life is being affected as a result of these medications, and none of the effects are positive ones at all. It's changing the entire ecosystem. Now, the gazillion dollar question is, what is it doing to you and I? And I don't think we have an answer yet. I have to tell you my presumption. My presumption is it can't be good, okay? One scientist postulates that the reason that we're seeing a dramatic decrease in the male reproductive capacity in this country and in Europe is a result of this kind of contamination from these drugs because we know that antidepressant drugs actually adversely affect the reproductive system in men and in women for that matter. So we have a problem. We use too much of this stuff. We're flushing it down the toilet bowl. We're passing it in our stools and excrement. And it's making its way into our reservoirs and our water supplies, our ground supply, our ground water supply. And, and, and we're only now trying to develop standards. And I do not blame by any means the water, by any means rather, the water departments of any of the cities or states in the United States because I think they're doing the best job they can. I spoke to the people in Scottsdale. They're ready, willing, and able and are cognizant of this issue and are waiting for the Environmental Protection Agency to set standards nationally so they can try their best to provide the best water they can in the city of Scottsdale, and I'm sure that's true in Phoenix and elsewhere. So we got a problem. What I'm going to do is in the ensuing months coming up on my radio show on primary care right here in KTAR, I'm going to invite guests in to talk about not only what we need to do in the future, but what do we do right now to protect ourselves, to protect your children from this contamination of medications that can absolutely not be doing any good. This is Dr. Sam Benjamin with Medical News You Can Use.